sixth grade module four lesson two problem set number one fill in each blank to make the equation true so these are all identities so if we start with 132 and divide it by three and multiply it by three this divided by three and multiplying by three just comes out to one so if we're so we're basically just going to end up with what we started with of 132 so this goes back to the identity equations that we created in the problem uh, was it the problem set no this is the problem set in the classwork today and in what we did a few days before in lesson one so remember that a is equal to or actually let's say a times b divided by b is equal to a or a divided by b times b is always equal to a so those two our identities and this follows that pattern where a is 132 and b is 3. so the next one is missing the first blank so, so, so we divide by 25 and multiply by 25 and got 225 then what we started with would be 225. 56 times what divided by 8 is equal to 56 so we want to end up with 56 at the end but we divided it by 8. So to counteract that, what we have to do is multiply it by 8. And then in D, 452 times 12 divided by something is equal to 452. So we want to start and end with the same things, but we multiplied by 12. So to reverse multiplying by 12, we just need to divide by 12. And number two, how is the relationship of addition and subtraction similar to the relationship of a multiplication and division? So what we've shown here is that if you multiply by 12, for example, just the last one that we did, and then divide by 12, it gets us the same thing. We end up with one, which is gonna create an identity. Same thing if we were to subtract 12 and then add 12 to a number, we're gonna end up with the original number that we started with. So we can say that both relationships create identities.